On December 14th, 2012, tragedy struck at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut as 20 children between the ages of six and seven, along with six other adults, were shot and killed. Now this tragedy led many across the nation to ask what could cause an individual to act in such a violent manner. Now these violent behaviors have many causes, one of them being violent video games. Violent video games cause violent behavior among all individuals and can even teach one to kill. Now, no matter what your opinions may be about violent video games, I ask tonight that you simply listen to the facts. And I appeal to you not only as students, but also as the parents of the future generation. For the decisions that we make not only affect ourselves, but affect our future children. Tonight, I'd like to talk about how prevalent these violent video games have become in our society the negative and violent tendencies that they cause, and how they can even teach an individual to kill. Now, in a chart put together by the Entertainment Software Association, we can see how video game sales have steadily increased since the 1990s, increasing to $11.7 billion in sales in 2008. And violence became so prevalent among these video games that the LDS Church made a stand and the For Strength of Youth pamphlet, stating that depictions of violence often glamorize vicious behavior. They offend the spirit and make you less able to respond to others in a sensitive, caring way. They contradict the Savior's message of love for one another. Now, I highly doubt that there is a single person in this room tonight that would state that they want to live their lives in a way that would contradict the Savior's message. Now, these violent video games cause violent tendencies. An example of this being the shootings at Columbine High School. On April 20th, 1999, two students named Dylan Claybold and Eric Harris shot and killed 12 of their fellow classmates and a teacher, also injuring 21 other students before they killed themselves. Now this tragedy, much like the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary School, led many to ask what could cause these two young men to act in such a violent manner. Now there are many different opinions about what was the cause of these violent uh, behavior that these two young men had. But in an article in the New York Times called Tying Columbine to Video Games, Gerald Block, a psychiatrist and researcher from Portland, concluded that Dylan Claybold and Eric Harris went on their shooting rampage after their parents took away their video game privileges. Now, I know that some of you would still argue that these violent video games don't affect you, that you understand the difference between reality and the video game world, and that you simply would never act in such a manner as these two young men did. Yet Craig A. Anderson, who received a PhD in psychology from Stanford University, said even non-aggressive individuals are consistently affected by brief exposure to these violent video games. Not a single person escapes unaffected from exposure to these violent video games. These violent video games cause violent tendencies among all individuals and can even teach one to kill. Lieutenant uh, David Grossman, who is a military psychiatrist, said that the military has used violent video games to desensitize soldiers to killing for years. For example, during World War II, soldiers were reluctant to pull the trigger 85% of the time, even when they were faced with death. Yet after the military implemented violent video games into their training, this reluctance dropped, and the willingness to kill increased to over 95%. Now, the magnitude of this statistic alone shows how big of an effect these violent video games can have. Now, I'm sure that the parents of the shooter at Sandy Hook Elementary School never thought that their son would perform such an act. Yet, as the parents of the future generation, it is our responsibility for what our children are exposed to and influenced by. Violent video games cause violent behavior in all individuals and can even teach one to kill. I invite you all to look at these facts and to have the courage to take these violent video games out of our lives. 
for we never know the effect that our actions and decisions can have. Thank you.